Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're gonna look at M. Bison, the Savage World Edition for uh, Street Fighter. So it goes around for like 20 bucks now. I got it on clearance for 359. <laughs> so I got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, it's not my favorite version of M. Bison. It has the uh, gray hair, so I think that's Street Fighter V. So I haven't even played, and I've heard kind of bad things about. On the back here, it's who you can get here and collect them all for you. Chun-Li, Bison, and Blanca. And I think that was it. Uh, I did another Savage World review for DC Comics for um, Green Lantern. Overall, these things seem to get bad reviews. They're made by Funko. You know, I hate Funko Pops, but these looked okay. Kind of like a throwback to the He-Man kind of action figure. I do like M. Bison. It's one of my favorite characters in Street Fighter. Probably my secondary main, or maybe my main, depends, him or Ryu. Uh, this art right here is kind of reminiscent to the instruction booklet, I think, back in the SNES days. And also maybe... Capcom vs. SNK instruction booklet, if I can remember. I have to look it up. So I'll look it up, and if I find it, I'll post it somewhere over here. Oh yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, and well, hit that bell. So there, I said it. Uh, once I'm going to unbox this, because there's not many Bisons to choose from. Uh, this one goes for like 20 bucks, but yeah. Told myself I'm not going to not unbox stuff, so we're going to unbox it. See how it looks out of the package here or as Zack Ryder might say let, the, let it breathe well Matt Cardona alright so these figures are squatty I mean oh, that's good yeah that's pretty descriptive uh, this coat down here is um, flexible didn't think it would be so that was like a Psycho Power Lightning Bolt. Does he have that on his gear? I don't remember seeing that. Anyway. But it has his shoulder pad, his hat. You can only know it's in Bison. And the detail is okay. Uh, there's no articulation really for these limbs. Just, and they're very kind of stiff. They feel not good. Like, yeah. They don't feel good. Stand him up. He stands up good. That's always nice. Um, kind of a plain and bison. Not the worst for the price I paid three fifty nine. It looks really good. <laughs> so there you go. So if you took him to like the He Man retro stuff that came out, like Skeletor here. So he's wider and more squatty. Like I said, um, this looks a lot better. Proportion wise, also has articulation in the elbow joint and knee joint. So, you know, he's like, guy. Yeah. This is a M. Bison review. So, the back uh, <laughs> has some numbers printed there. That's kind of dumb. Probably could put that on the uh, inside of the cape, right? That's that's really stupid. So, yeah, not a fan of that. Uh, the hat looks okay. Gonna shot it all rest there. Like I said, I know I have price to stop using this camera. And then you can see it a little bit better. And then, yeah, there's those stupid numbers. They could have just put it on the inside of here. I guess most impressive is this stupid <laughs> bottom part of his coat. This is kind of like a flimsy material. Uh, the boots look okay. I mean, you can't even really get them in Psycho Crusher position because his arms only go up that high and then his shore pads <laughs> block him but for the price it's fine and it's like a bison action figure which is on my list to have so that's going to check that box thanks for watching triple r have a good day or night wherever you are